Welcome to Knowledge 2, Lesson 7, Dr. Wellbody's Heroes. Our purpose for listening today is to explain that germs can cause diseases. We will listen to understand the words germs and vaccines. Also, we want to learn the stories of two brave germ fighters. Can you say the word germs? Germs are very tiny living things that can cause diseases in plants and animals. Germs don't always make people sick, but sometimes they can. Listen to the stories of two men to learn more about the ways they discovered to fight germs that can make you sick. Did you know that doctors have heroes? I'm going to tell you about two of my heroes, both brave germ fighters. Their names are Edward Jenner and Louise Pasteur. Jenner was a doctor and Pasteur was a scientist. Both lived long ago. Their work made the world a safer place for all of us. Germs are all around us. These tiny living things are so small that you can see them only by looking through a special type of instrument called microscope. But even though you cannot see them, germs are everywhere. In the air we breathe, in the water we drink, in the food we eat, and on our skin. Most of the time, germs do not hurt us. Some germs even help us, like the ones in our intestines that kill off harmful germs and help us digest our food. But other germs can make us sick. They get into our bodies in different ways. Some creep in through insect bites or cuts in our skin. Others float in when someone sneezes nearby. Still others come from food that is poorly cleaned or undercooked. We have natural immunities in our bodies. That means our bodies have ways of fighting off germs on their own. But sometimes this is not enough. That is why doctors and scientists are always working to find new ways to fight sicknesses, also called diseases. One very important way to fight diseases is by giving people medicines called vaccines. Vaccines give you immunity. That means they keep bad germs from harming you in the first place before you get sick. Doctors give vaccines by vaccinating people. That usually means giving a child or grown up a shot. Many people don't like getting shots because the needle stings a bit. Sometimes they cry. But vaccinations give us immunity to, or protect us from, very terrible and harmful diseases like measles, mumps, flu, smallpox, and polio. Diseases that can make people very sick or even cause them to die. Long ago, people did not know about germs. They did not understand what made people sick. They did not know how important it is to wash your hands, to eat clean food, and to drink clean water. They did not know how to protect themselves from getting bad germs in their bodies. Sometimes, thousands of people at a time would die from a disease as germs spread quickly from one person to another. About 200 years ago, an English doctor discovered something amazing. He discovered a way to keep people from getting one of the most terrible diseases in the world, a disease called smallpox. Edward Jenner, one of my heroes, invented the first vaccine. Dr. Jenner was living in a country village in England. There were many farms all around. He knew what the farmers in his village knew. 
people who milked cows sometimes got a disease called cowpox. The disease made blisters on their hands, but it was not a serious disease. People got over it quickly. Dr. Jenner also noticed that people who got cowpox almost never came down with smallpox, a much worse disease that often killed people or left horrible scars on their skin. He thought that cowpox might give people protection from getting smallpox. After a lot of thinking and studying, Dr. Jenner decided to test his idea. He decided to give a healthy boy a small amount of cowpox germs. The boy got sick with cowpox just as Dr. Jenner thought he would. Then, after the boy got better, Jenner gave the boy a small amount of smallpox germs. Just as Jenner hoped, the boy did not get smallpox. Dr. Jenner's practice would not be used today. Doctors wouldn't intentionally give healthy people germs, even if it was to test a new way of preventing diseases. But Dr. Jenner did not understand exactly how the vaccination had worked. It was up to other doctors and scientists to find out. Louis Pasteur was born in France a year after Dr. Jenner died. As a boy, he worked very hard in school and was very curious, always asking a lot of questions. When he grew up, he became a science professor teaching at a university. He was also a medical researcher, someone who tries to find out what causes diseases and how they can be cured. Using a microscope, Pasteur saw that liquids, like milk and fruit juice, contain tiny living things called germs. Some of these germs caused the milk or juice to spoil or go bad. Pasteur discovered that he could kill the harmful germs by heating the liquid to a high temperature. Heating liquids this way to get rid of germs became known as pasteurization. Today, because of Pasteur's discovery, the milk we drink, as well as some other foods, are pasteurized to make them safe before we buy them. Just as important, Pasteur's work on pasteurization convinced other doctors and scientists that germs are real and may cause disease. People began to realize how important it is to keep harmful germs out of our food and water. But Pasteur did not stop there. He continued Jenner's work with vaccines, working to discover how to prevent many more diseases. One of the vaccines he developed fought rabies, a very dangerous disease that often kills humans. Pasteur had been working on the rabies vaccine for quite a while when a nine-year-old boy was badly bitten by a dog. The dog was carrying rabies, and Dr. Pasteur thought that his new vaccine would help the boy. Dr. Pasteur's vaccine worked, and he was hailed as a hero. He led the way for other scientists to make vaccines for many other diseases. Today, once you are vaccinated against a disease, you become immune to it and no longer have to be afraid of catching it. There are still diseases like malaria and cancer for which scientists have not yet found the right vaccine but they are working hard at it. New vaccines will be discovered by other germ fighters. If you study medicine or science and become a researcher, that germ fighter could even be you. So if you are a scientist, you'll discover something new and you could be a germ fighter who is a hero too. Can you say that with me? So if you are a scientist, you'll discover something new and you could be a germ fighter who is a hero too. Great 
job. 